Hello and welcome back to the Rusty Mash channel and welcome back to my Year 7 series. The Year 7 series on number is finally finished. So if you want to catch up on everything that I did with number, click on the pop-up banner up there and go and watch those videos. Now we're moving into geometry and our first video is going to be all about angle properties. So stick with me to go and see what we got going on and I hope that you learn something new. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. They do come up very often and there's a lot of content that I do cover. So make sure that you do that. A lot of my followers are watching the, the channel, but they're not subscribed to the channel. So it'd be really, really important that you subscribe. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go and learn about some angle properties. Okay, let's get the beginning bit about angle properties sorted out before we get going. So the very first thing that we're going to talk about is angles on a straight line. So here I have got a straight line. And all the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if I put an angle there and I call that angle A, and I put an angle here and I call it B, together A add B would add up to 180 degrees. This is a fact. You just got to learn it and you just got to know it, okay? Now, on this one here, we've got angles around the point. This is the point right here. So again... If I then make some angles around this point, thereby forming a full circle, because together these angles make a full circle, angles around the point add up to 360 degrees. So A plus B plus C is equal to 360 degrees. We will use all of this in a little bit. We're just getting rid of all the admin stuff <laughs> at the beginning of the video. Now, if you ever see lines like this, and then you see them put this sort of box in the corner, making a sort of like an upside down L shape, this means that this is a right angle. So I'll write that down. So right angle and right angles are 90 degrees. So in, in maths, as a part of a shortcut, you may see something like this to tell you it's a right angle or it's 90 degrees. Look out for it. It's really important. You don't miss that. So now let's put it into practice what we have just learned. I am going to make a quick angle here and I am going to say that this is, um, let's just call it, uh, let's call it 70 degrees there. And I want to find this angle here, which I will call X. So let's put the angle marks around it so we know. All right, cool, that's it. It's a really simple question to get you going. Because this is lying on a straight line, and we've learned that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, in order to find this angle X, all I've got to do is do 180 degrees, so that's 180, take away the known angle, which is 70 degrees, and then that would give me that x is 110, all right? And that's basically done. That is it, guys, on that. Let's practice that on this question over here, okay? So I've decided to draw this one here for you now. So again, I want to find angle y. There it is. And they've given me a couple of angles already. Now, because this is around a point, because it forms a full circle, all of these angles should add up to 360 degrees. So, to find out what angle Y is, we'll do 360, and then we're going to take away the known angles in there. And this will give us 170 degrees. And that is pretty much done. Now, potentially, I could end the video here because now I've explained to you the basic angle properties that you need to know. You need to know angles on a line and you need to know angles around a point. That's at the first part of the basic stuff. I can end it here. But if you want to see more, let's move on. OK, the fact that you're still here means you want to do some challenging work. So here we go. 
Now, before I get solving these, I would say that you need to know how to solve equations. And if you don't know how to solve equations, click on the pop out banner and go and watch a video on solving equations before we get going. All right, cool. Let's rock and roll. Now, on the first question, what I've got is a straight line, and we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180. And for all of these questions, by the way, we need to find x. It might be a good idea to write that down. So find x in all of these equations here. All right, let's rock and roll. So because this adds up to 180, I will write it as such. So I'm going to say that x add 40 plus that 70 will equal to 180 degrees. Now, if you watch the videos as suggested, you would know that I will use the balancing method. So that's going to be equal to x at 110 is equal to 180 degrees. Where did I get the 110 from? I added the 40 and the 70 there. All right, let's carry on. And then I tend to use the balancing method. So I take away 110 from both sides, which means that x in this case is going to be equal to 70 degrees. And just like that, this one is finished. Now, let's move on to the next one. So as you can see here, I've put in a little right angle there saying that this is a right angle here, which means that it adds up to 90 degrees. Now, do not assume that this cuts the right angle in half because you can already see I've only got 40 degrees there rather than 45. Let's make the equation. So 2x add that 40 degrees should equal 90 because of the right angle there. All right, let's keep going. So again, I'm going to take away 40 degrees from both sides because I want to find out what x is. And that means that 2x will equal to 50 degrees. And then to finish off the job, because I'm timesing by 2, I'm going to divide by 2, which is the inverse operation. So x will equal to 25 degrees. And just like that, this is finished. Now let's go for the last one to finish up the video for today. Again, angles around the point we've got there. So there is my point right there. It makes a full circle. And so it adds up to 360 degrees. So let's go. So we're going to have this 2x plus that 2x makes 4x's altogether. So that's 4x's. Add, then we do the numbers, 210 here. Add it to that 10 makes 220 degrees. And all of it should add up to 360. So obviously, you know your basic algebra because you've been watching my algebra videos. And so you know that we can only add the x's with the x's and the numbers with the numbers to get to 220. And if you haven't figured it out yet, we will take away the 220 from both sides, thereby giving us that 4x will equal to 140. 40 degrees there and then now we will divide both sides by 4 like that and therefore x will equal to 35 degrees and just like that that's the end of this sort of semi-short video introducing angle properties to you